Now, I, I don't normally do these kind of videos on my channel, but I, I just really felt like doing it. Obviously, this video is going to be unscripted. Normally, my videos are scripted, but definitely this video is not going to be scripted. But as you can tell by the title, I will be talking about who the best girl is in Chainsaw Man. And this list is definitely interesting because compared to others who I've talked to about who their best girl is in Chainsaw Man, it, it, it's kind of different. Maybe not, you know, near the top end of the list. It may be kind of similar, but at the bottom people actually kind of disagreed with me like some of my homies i talked to about chainsaw man they kind of didn't really agree with me but anyway we're gonna get into that in this video but for those who you know watch me exclusively for one punch man or my hero academia i will be doing best girl kind of tier lists on those series as well so if you are you know if you're here for exclusively one punch man or my hero academia then you can definitely expect those videos to be dropping in the near future but anyway let's just get into the damn video because I want to talk about some fucking women in One Punch Man because the women in One Punch Man are pretty solid compared to a lot of other series. Now, fifth on this list is Kobeni. Now, I know a lot of you might like Kobeni because, you know, she's cute. You know, she's she's kind of like, she, she's just cute in general. Like, I could admit, Kobeni's, you know, she's cute. She's... Uh, she's kind of annoying at times in my opinion like th like you know that time she tried to kill denji to save her life well it's kind of understandable that y you know you want to sacrifice a devil's life to save your own life but denji was kind of like a half devil half human kind of so i, I don't know if it was morally correct to you know just throw him under the bus and just you know say fuck you just die but in general i, I don't I, I never really liked kobeni but she she was definitely all right i mean she's not the best she's not the best and she's not the worst but out of the five on this list she's definitely the worst in my opinion like she didn't really give too much of an impression on me like she was just kind of flat in general she just seemed like your average girl that just wanted to you know kind of earn money from you know killing devils which i guess is kind of cool but when push comes to shove and you you know you might actually die then it, she kind of did switch up a little bit which is definitely normal but you know i kind of didn't really like that aspect to her because everyone else in the series was just kind of like chill and they kind of understood how to approach the situation when it's kind of life or death but you know kobeni kind of she was kind of flustered she was worried which is normal but i just personally didn't like that much but anyway let's get on to the fourth girl on this list who is himeno now a lot of people actually will probably disagree with himeno being this far down on the list but to be completely honest Himeno to me, she died a little bit too early in the series in my opinion, you know, for my liking I guess, she died a bit too early. I would have preferred a lot more from her, like there was a lot more to be desired from Himeno's character. I mean, she was a solid character definitely and I liked the whole thing she had going on with Aki and... But th there was one thing that really did <laughs> solidify her being fourth on this list, which is the fact she threw up in fucking Denji's mouth. Bro, w what is this? How can you be throwing up in a nigga's mouth like that? that? That is disgusting. I can guarantee you if a girl threw up in my mouth, <laughs> in my fucking mouth, I would never speak to her again. That is fucking disgusting. I, I cannot get that out of my head like that was disgusting like bro imagine how denji felt in that situation that, that that's fucking disgusting now some of you may say but him and her was drunk and all that shit but i don't care I, I really don't care at all i don't care if she was drunk or if she was high or if she was whatever she just shouldn't be fucking throwing up in a nigga's mouth like come on but anyway moving on I i'm done talking about him and her she's fourth and there's nothing you can do to change my mind now third on this list might be a little controversial as well but it's whatever like it's my tier list i don't care what you think but anyway third on this list is reese now reese was definitely probably gonna be higher if i didn't take into account another thing for the girl on top of her in this list but reese is definitely a solid waifu like def definitely she's solid like she's solid in general she's hot she, she she's fucking hot um she's hot uh, that, that's pretty much it to be honest like i feel like if reese had more time to you know be in the series in general then she probably would have been a little bit high on this list but for now like considering the amount of time she had to be in the series i mean this is this is pretty impressive like to be this high up on the list but 
Reese, she, she there was definitely more to be desired from her, but in general, like she was definitely solid. The thing that kind of you know put me off on her a little bit, maybe when you know she ripped out Denji's tongue while trying to kiss him, that that was really really um that was questionable like what was she thinking i mean she that was the big reveal that you know reese was actually a devil but like come on <laughs> that was brutal like what you didn't have to rip out his tongue that was fucking disgusting as well but reese in general like she's solid i mean she also did kind of you know make denji waver in terms of who he likes better between makima and her which is pretty impressive because we know denji simps for makima like a motherfucker like bro Denji has been simping from Makima since chapter like 2 in the series. Okay, let's just think about that. Let's just sit down and just digest what I just said. Denji has been simping from Makima for about nearly up to 100 chapters now. Probably like 90 something chapters he's been simping for Makima. And Reese is the only girl that has made him waver between, you know, who he likes better. Well, and all I have to say, that's pretty impressive considering how big of a simp Denji is. But moving on to the second girl on this list that places obviously in number two, which is Power. Now, Power, I definitely like as a character. Like, she's definitely, she's funny. She's cute. She, she's hot as well. And I mean, depending on how you want to look at her, like, she's cute. She, she's hot. Whatever you want to call her. Like, she's just genuinely a really cool character. And a lot of people like to say, oh, but Power doesn't shower. Oh, wait, that kind of rhymed. The power doesn't. Anyway, power doesn't shower, and power does shower. She just doesn't like to shower. There's a difference, which is, I mean, it's still questionable. Like, come on, power, you have to be showering. You have to be you know, taking a bath every day. But I mean, power is power. She, she's a devil after all. Like, she's not technically a human. She doesn't do what humans do. But well, technically, she's a fiend, which is pretty much the same thing as a devil. Wh whatever. Like, they're pretty much the same thing. Fiends can, you know, appear in human form but at the end of the day she is a devil and you can't expect her to do everything exactly like a human and even then she still showers like it's not like she doesn't and overall power is funny and like I, I, she, she's a pretty solid waifu in the series and she definitely deserves to be second place on this list now number one number one i'm i'm sure it's obvious who number one is at this point and you can call me a simp or whatever but I know I'm not a simp and we know number one on this list is Makima. Now, Makima in general to me, she, she's not the most attractive woman on earth, but she is still pretty hot. Like in general, she she's pretty hot. But I mean, a lot of people like to say, if you think Makima is the best girl in Chainsaw Man, you're a simp. But I'm not a simp. Makima in general, in terms of character, in terms of how hot she is, in terms of how much I would wife her, I definitely would. Well, um let me <laughs> let me rephrase what i just said now i wouldn't wife makima but i would definitely see why you would want to wife makima basically i mean she is a devil but let's just let's just assume makima you know she she does have eyes and she can see you and she isn't a devil in general makima would she, she's pretty all right but at the same time all the things i just said just took away from pretty much all of her character but it, it is what it is I, I mean makima she's hot and i mean compared to the other girls on this list i feel like she does take the winner no matter how much you hate makima she is pretty hot and she is a good character in general and she is probably one of the best antagonists in you know shonen jump so far or in weekly shonen jump and i've actually made a video on why makima is one of the greatest antagonists in weekly shonen jump at the moment so you can check that video out after you've watched this video and to be honest that's pretty much it for this video this was kind of a different style of video i tried out i mean if you kind of have any criticisms or any you know things i can improve on you know for the next time i do a best girl for a one punch man or my hero academia then definitely comment down below maybe i should make the videos longer or maybe i should go into more detail as to why i placed this girl in this position or whatever just leave your thoughts in the comments and apart from that make sure you leave a like if you like the video and subscribe if you're new to the channel and make sure you turn on that notification bell because you know you get notified every time i upload a video on the channel and apart from that i will see you in my next video